bam, bam, ba, down. And we return to... Hang on, let me turn up my headphones a little bit. There we go. We return to Space Haven. Welcome aboard the USS Solid Content. Um, I didn't sleep very much last night. I'm going to be honest with you guys. That's just the situation. That's where we're at. Okay, I'm loading one of my saves. And one of the saves is called Oops. I'm not sure why. Guys, we might be in in it to win it right now. Um, bam, bam, I'll explain down. why I didn't sleep in a while. In a second. In a while. <laughs> Later on, I'll explain. Wake up, Sol. I'm awake. I'm, we're, we're streaming. We're streaming. It immediately triggered Pro Gamer. My, uh, the what's it? The, the, <laughs> the call that was still left on. Oops, could be any of your streams. Wait, what? <laughs> That's true. It's true. It does look as though we have currently lost control of the ship. It, that's probably why it's oopsed. So, uh, Ayumi, you need to get... Shut up. We got a new member. Already? We, we, don't, we don't have time for a member. Nicolette 22 has been a member for 12 months. Frozen already. Oh, crap. Ayumi gives up. Black Widow comes in strong. Takes a couple of hits. Is trying to take down the entire team, but they rush. They bum rush. We're going to lose the ship immediately. This is a big oops. I might have to use one of my save scums immediately right now. Gary the fish, get in there. Okay, open this door. Who else is nearby? Everyone's fr Roxanne, get over here. Vampy, we're going to need you. Gary the fish is helping, taking some hits. Uh, Matthew, what do you have? Matthew, get in here. We gotta work on Deborah. Okay, you get into that same spot and then help out. Roxanne, can you draft? Can you be used? No, I wish uh, I wish Roxanne could be used to shoot. Okay, it looks like we're getting. Okay, we've got the upper hand. We've got the upper hand. We got the upper hand. But a lot of there was some casualties. There was some. There was some bleeding. There was some damage. You won this run, but we will get you someday. Take crew as prisoners, as always. Man, we started right off in the action, didn't we? Whoo! All right, now where were you all? Most of you were trying to get some shut eye, I believe. We do need to keep an eye on these shuttles. I wish we had operations on right now, because we could maybe smoke some of those things. Let's let's put it on red alert just to see. Shields, we can t turn that off now. We don't need anybody on shields. Yeah, there's no nobody's gonna get to operations in time. Uh, let's keep it at, at a yellow just in case there's crew that's able to run and do that. Dolce, what are you up to? So we do need to be careful, Dolce and Gabbana. We need to be careful not to spend too much time working on that because we still have an active vessel. Let's go transfer, let's select all and, and just not worry about what's on that vessel at the moment. They've attacked with three troopers. I can't imagine they have too many left on board this ship. They didn't really evacuate too much of this ship before I w boarded it and took it. Vampy was, I was thinking earlier I wanted lots of action today. I'm not disappointed, no. No, I, uh, uh exactly. I, I think, uh, I'm gonna need that because I'm, I'm quite tired, like I said. Uh, I was up late because that was the best option to go and see the film, uh, Civil War. Alex Garland, I believe, wrote and directed it. Now, it's a little intense. I'm going to be honest with you. It's an, an intense one. But it is... Oh, for heaven's sake. Okay. It is fantastic. I had a really uh, good but intense time at this movie. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything aside from to say that I, I really enjoyed it. So normally there's a... Oh, they're, because they're not boarding. Oh, no, they are boarding us. So where was the, like, uh, we're, we're boarding you. Usually there's a thing here that says, like, a boarding is about to happen. We should be okay now. Um, we should be okay, but we are giving Vampy more of her wish, which was to see more action. Black Widow, why don't you take up this cover position here? Oh, for heaven's sake. Wrong button. There we are. Let's see if we can get a bit of crossfire going. And you know what? In light of, in honor of, um, uh, of, uh, of, uh, Civil War, we're going to bring Gary the Fish here. Don't shoot, don't shoot. 
We're gonna bring Gary the fish here. He's gonna stand back here. He's our war photographer. He's gonna be in. He's gonna be in the mess, taking photos of what's going on. And there we are. And there we are. See? Okay. There we go. Stay behind that cover object so we can wrap this up. Uh, that now that we made short work of. That was a, that's another three, which makes their uh, they're giving up. Uh, all the more likely, there, there's, there can't be much of anything going on on the other, uh, on the other vessel. Uh, take crew as prisoners. But like, yeah, it, like augmentation parts. I hope we get this stuff. The only thing we're missing is the credits. That's, that's the thing. We're gonna miss out on the credits. Do we have anybody in operations? No, <laughs> the crew is trying to get some shut eye. All right, go get some shut eye yourself, Black Widow. And then somebody repair this stuff. Dexamine says, I'm still hoping for a wall of corpses. Uh, and you shall have it. You shall have your wall of corpses. Alright. What are we up to here? Yeah, I mean, there's a big pile of corpses in the entrance, but I have a plan for them. I have not forgotten my plan. Alright, we need them to sleep. I'm gonna override this and give them, like, uh, four more hours of sleep. Oh, that's it. That was their whole... They're all here now. So we get an unencumbered ship. Let's check oxygen. Oxygen is getting a little low. We may need a third uh, generator in, in here. Uh, potentially. If you're talking body, ship's got a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is like honestly leaving leaving them here slows down logistics because you're, everyone's stepping over bodies. That being said, this is a great uh, discourage discouragemer discouragemer. All right. Oops. Crap. Give me that. Thank you. Um, you land, you board my vessel, and the first thing you see is that. That's like that's nuts. All right, Ame. This vessel is a. Uh, Total derelict. I'm gonna undraft you so you can go and do things. All right. Oh crap! Whew! Ah ah ah! She, Ame may have gotten spored just now. That sucks. That's annoying. And also, we haven't got control of the ship. There may be a spider lurking around here. There we are. Undraft all. Never mind. The PCS The Broken Legs has been taken by us without a shot fired upon, upon the thing. Uh, Emma says... Infected. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It was she, she was a couple tiles away. Don't worry, Emma. Solid never lets his prisoners <laughs> suffocate. <laughs> Greg Wenzel's about to roast me. He's going to say something, but he does something, something. You know what I mean? All right. Okay, so that was a little bit of action. And that was, you know, honestly, it was not very dangerous, but it was more fun uh, that way. Team one has had some sleep time. Everybody's got a little bit of uh, health need. Um, we should probably get another, like, let's move this locker over here and let's get ourselves another med bed as soon as that moves somebody come and deal with that please this is showing me that I don't have construction very high as a priority hello hello I mean having research decently high is good though uh Emery, okay, jobs, uh, de uh, construct, uh, there we are. Emery, thank you. Mm, there we are. Medical bed. Let me get, let's make it a high priority. I'm sure we have enough of the uh, resources to do this. Red Hat breaks. <laughs> oh, Red Hat breaks the stream. That's why we named it after Red Hat. What's a little infection amongst the crew? It just spices up ship life. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, but if you must, if you insist, 
Uh, we do have Ame. Where are you? Okay, great. Draft. Bring you in here. Event closed. There we are. There you go. Ame over. Okay, Ame's on sleep now. Oh, oops. Oh no, she's not. There, go sleep for eight hours. There you are. Infected, no big deal. We uh, we literally have the perfect facility for the infected. The vent is closed. Let's just triple check here. Venting, not going anywhere. Uh, we have one thermal radiator. Rad radiator. <laughs> I'm a French guy. So we do need another one. Let's get another thermo in here. Uh, but wait, I guess let's not build it right now, though. Let's wait. Uh, because it's going to create a, j a task, and then somebody's going to try to get in here. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> well, when did... Wait, when did she get infected? When did... Is her name Light Gravel? Light Gravel is having a seizure? All right. Good thing we caught it. Lock the door. Lock the door, vent closed. Okay, so actually, this is interesting. A lot of the prisoners from ha have been infected. Didn't practice social distancing. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's see if this does anything. Okay, could have vented in there. Black Widow maybe could have gotten it. Oh, that was it. Whoa, that was cool. Did you see that? Oh, no. <laughs> there was a vent right there. Ah, uh, crap. Let's go normal operation. I think it's distance, though. I don't think there was anybody around this area. So we may have got it. Now, if somebody here... <laughs> oh, boy. Look at this prison, dude. What is this? Uh, a prison simulator? You know what... Uh, whatever that game's called, what is this? Sim prison? You know what I mean? What? What is this? Okay, uh, I think this is the flooring. Yes, perfect. Okay, dude, this prison rocks. We should get cell cell block B going or C, I mean, so we have even more prison. Thanks, A track. It is a solid prison. It looks very good. It looks very prisony. We've got this whole processing area as well as this whole processing area. I was thinking we could make a cell block C. We could have another utility closet inside of it, but maybe it's accessed via a different, like a, via the hallway or something. Not a very Norwegian prison, though. Where's the pool table and the sauna? <laughs> I wish you could change prisoner outfits. I do, but we do. You know what we do need to do is start to uh, turn them, uh, some of them into patrons. We have one caller, so let's get like a bunch of patron callers going. I think we should focus on. I forget what I said in the last episode, but we should probably focus on. You know what I mean, like uh, industry stuff. Let's move this light to there. <coughs> Excuse me. So as far as I remember, we're going to keep this storage. All right, we're going to move. Ta 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 ta. -ta. <laughs> Sorry. And we're going to move this guy into there, probably. Okay. Then we're going to get this uh, space suit locker. We're going to maybe move it over to here or something. And then I'm going to move this bad boy into there. So our industry, industry area is going to have that. And then we're going to get a door into this part of the industry area. We could get another door in here, too. It could be two doors into this. And then we're going to have... Uh, probably move our Recyclotron into there. Maybe get another Recyclotron. Then over here, we're going to have our... Let's take a look at our sketch. We're going to have our main whatever. Our main what's-it. So, to that end, uh, we need to build, build and move this. And then I think see how much room that gives us to have, like, a computer core and a power core here. Uh, then that gives us, yeah, enough room to have, like, a cell block C over here, growing chambers, whatever we want over here. Then we can start to move, uh, humans that live, uh, into that area there. Peace, man! Hi, Solid. Finally caught you streaming, and you have become a prison warden. I mean, look at this prison. Look at all this fresh meat. I told you I was going to become a city ship. A city ship filled to, to the brim with, uh... Shall we say, 
volunteers. They're called patrons. But somebody else, what did somebody else say they were? Uh, well, there's voluntolds. Uh, what did you guys say? There was one that was like, like involuntary friend. Involuntary friend. I think that's one of my favorites. Okay, so we need to get this. Remind me once we do this that we need to get the uh, work orders set up in there. I always forget to do that. Move you in here. What do we have? A thermal there? Okay, that's fine. That's dealable withable. Grab this thermal. Move it over there. Let's check in on Ame. How's she doing? Sometimes people start stacking up on the door, which makes this not work. We should probably wait until she has a... Uh, yeah, I think we're fine. We were going to wait until she has a, uh, a a seizure or something, and it usually says, like, oh, I'm feeling a bit ill, but I don't think she's feeling ill. We're going to keep her quarantined for now. Guest workers. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Mobile meat snacks. Oh, yeah, if, the, if one of these people has, like, a, a seizure, we're sealing off the entire prison. We're just not coming in the prison. And, and good luck to them, I say. That being said, we do need to supply these. These are dangerously low. Why are they not being supplied? Let's have that as, like, highest. We should have these all on their highest priority because they won't take that much away from us. Let's have two of them as high priority. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's why. Shoot. We have uh, we have 40 water left, but where's my water? Where's my melter? It's probably not set up with an order. Where's my melter? Uh, where uh, is uh, my melter? H highest priority. Yo, you gotta... What, what are you saying red? Why is it red? Environmental condition? Oh, we don't have a CO2 scrubber in here. Dang. Dang it. That's a thing we forgot about. Okay. Let's do this. Let's vent it. That's going to suck for Ame. Okay, so we need a, a... Okay, that's a good reminder. We need to get a gas... A CO2 scrubber in here somehow. Can't believe we missed that. Who, who made me miss that, by the way? Who's, who was that? One of you made me miss that. Greg Wessel said, I sounded like Mayor Quimby for a second. I, uh, we will uh, find out who, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit that, it's a little bit, um, um, it, what's it, Reagan or whatever from, uh, from, uh, Clone High. Power generator, yeah, research that. Okay, let's, let's think about this. What are we going to do here, folks? You called your slaves indentured servant. You can call your slave indentured servants is good, but it's too realistic. We need water? What? Does this thing eat water? No, oh, the toilet needs water? Everything needs water these days. Good lord. Okay, so this is going to be a problem with re with regards to keeping these idiots alive. I st also don't know why this is red. Because it keeps filling up, I guess? The tile keeps filling up, maybe? Yeah, these people need to eat. They're going to start starving. We are going through water way faster than I, I, I had initially, uh, you know, thought we would. Uh, job error. I don't understand that job error. I think Ame's fine, though. So let's, uh, we're going to go normal. We're going to open that vent and, and get her out of, oh, oh, it was trying to remove the water. Okay, okay. It's red because it's full. Increase logistics. It's not, it's not full, though. It was giving me red. It was giving me red on one water. You saw that. Go scrub back. Scrub back. I like that the game thinks people care about slave complaints. <laughs> We're upset. Oh, I thought that said grimy decor. No, Gimli McDoor has no food. Well, Gimli McDoor, maybe we need to thin the herd a bit. Have you ever thought of that? Okay, CO2 is mounting. O2 is falling off a cliff. This one is not doing so great. People are, are heading out to get oxygen. So we need another oxygen generator here, and we need to build another deck at some point here. Uh, okay, we need to move this vent over. 
get another O2 generator in there. Good lord, this prison is, uh... Oh boy, okay, 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 this isn't going great. We might need to thin the herd, unfortunately. We might need to thin the herd. All right, let's take a look here. Clumsy, eh? I don't know if you guys have seen what I've just done. I have, in fact, locked down the prison. Team two, report to the prison. We've divided the team, we've divided the prisoners up. I'm gonna lock this door too. The prisoners have been divided up. Essentially to make, uh, to make uh, 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 mutinying, mutinying, uh, that much more difficult. Felix says I could rename this the clumsy Ashi Maru. Oh no. Team three heads into the prison. Prisoners are standing around like, what, what, what are you guys doing? Fast learner, eh? Okay. What are you guys doing? They're walking around. They're like scanning the crew. They're scanning everybody. They move around to Clint. They stand in front of Clint and they're like, Clint, stop causing a coup. Stop resisting, they say to Clint. And the prisoners are like, oh God, what's happening? They look at Roxanne. Oh, Roxanne's a slave, Never mind. They turn to Hieromonius. Hieromonius, stop it. Stop resisting. Stop resisting, they say. Crew combat breaks out. Alarms ring out through the through the uh, the thing. A, the the voice amongst the others, like in the in the hallways of the ship, ring out. You know, in the in the lunchroom, Ame and Matthew are eating and playing, and Nihal's sitting down, and you hear the the message over the loudspeaker, and they go, um, you know, like. Attention, attention, there is an uprising in prison cell block A. Uprising in prison cell block A. At this time, no action is required. It is under control. Dolce, Emery, and Ayumi continue to fall around with this prison block. The pr prison block? I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. <laughs> prison block. The prison raid, the prison, uh, whatever you call it. An engineer who's hardworking. Weapons too. Uh, well, they're not going to fight, though. A needy scientist, eh? Ah, darn, actually, she gets to survive. She's pretty good at stuff. A psychopath is always good. Immune to being scared and lonely. Good medical. Minus 20, okay. Oh, Keat. Good constructor, good industry person, good pilot. Solid kills good pawns and leaves the useless. Who needs research nine anyway? Yeah, what am I going to do with research nine? We don't need research nine. Look at this though. Hard working, mining six, industry four. This could be a good person. Gunner, a good gunner. Not very accurate though. Like it could go. Like it may have to go, but for now the crowds the uh, the the team stacks up on the door into cell block B. They enter into cell block B. Cell block B. The door is locked behind them. Philip is like, ah, oh, crap. Nothing happens to Philip. We kind of like Philip, maybe. A gourmand with various things. Construction laborer. Has a need to eat better meals than that. Jacqueline finds herself locked in crew combat. Again, the alarm sounds. Gimli looks up. He dare not reach out. He dare not attack back because his uh, collar might act up. Roxanne, Black Widow, they look up. They listen to the speakers, and the speakers are like, There is now a prisoner uprising in cell block B. The uprising in cell block A has been contained. No further action is required at this time. Akayuni watches the death and then barfs. You'd think I learned nothing from watching uh, Civil War last night, but here I am. Ew, you barfed. 
says Dolce, and takes Ikeuni out. With that, the cell block riot is deemed under control. They head back into the, the main room there. And undraft and head back to work. Um, Emma says, do you need four pawns to execute? It's just using up O2. Uh, okay, Emma, narratively, narratively, I do. And it, yeah, exactly, that's what it's about, sending a message. And those of you who are saying, you know, it's like, oh, well, this, uh, weapons won, you don't need that or whatever. But I'm not concerned about weapons, because a lot of these people are going to become uh, patrons. We do have a gas scrubber here. Uh, why is it so bad at gas scrubbing? So the CO2 is just building up way too fast, I think. We need another one. We also desperately need another O2 gen, so this needs to get dealt with pretty quick here. Construct. Can somebody come and deal with this? Why is, where's all my crew? Everyone's asleep. Literally, the entire ship is asleep, or I guess on the other vessel, uh, you know, kind of working away. I wonder if we have enough, uh, let's see, how are we doing for like supplies? Yeah, still not great. We do have some more water though, so there is some food around. The ghost of the prisoners is starting to haunt me. <laughs> okay, it looks like O2 has, is not doing great, but it's stabilized a little bit. We still will get another O2 generator in here because the plan is to hold a lot of, look at that blood streak, that's so nasty. The plan is to hold a lot of, a lot of that. A lot of prisoners, let's just say. Okay, so let's get another oxygen generator in here. Let's see my CO2 situation. Definitely a lot better. That's a survivable CO2 saturation. So we just need to get another room, and that other room needs another O2 gen and a gas scrubber, I think. And then we should be good. Now, this is using up a lot more water, so that's one thing I'm realizing is that you get into this place with the game where you're just like, you have so much resources, you kind of stop paying attention to things like fuel and water. Uh, we need to continue paying attention to fuel and water. Mostly water. Oh no, is my green aura appearing already? Ah, oh, we just started. And the aura's back. Uh, we could say high priority, however, we don't have any tech block access at this point. Oh, let me make sure we set this to, uh, uh, if less than, you know what, if less than 42. I like that number. <laughs> Energy rod. Let's go if less than, uh, 50 for this, because we're going to use a lot of them. We're going to use a lot of them over here, I believe. Uh, da, da, da. Do I have an advanced assembler? I do not. It's 20... Refinery has that set. Okay, good. Steel plates. How many steel plates do I have? Three. Let's get an if less than ten rule. All right. I believe I asked for this to be moved. Did I not? Did I not? Okay, move that over, please. Thank you. And fabrics. We don't need that right now. Yeah, I don't have an advanced assembler. Okay, so that'll be a problem. Anybody to trade with? No. Mm, 0 0.3, so not much of a tech block coming out. Back down to zero water, and we have 16 ice blocks left. We kind of need to move you into a better, more accessible position, don't we? I wonder if I could fit you there. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, I think we need to get rid of our double door. It's looking like it's more possible to get... Yeah, we can get more stuff done if we get rid of this double door. Let's move it, I guess, because it does cost in for blocks. We'll just put it here for now. And let's get the melter in here. Because then the melter is actually a little more... Uh, it's a little more just like in our in our, in our our vision. I kind of liked the double door, though, unfortunately. There we go. Let's move that there. Thank you. Isvan says, I'm running out of water slash ice, and yet I still refuse to move. Well, yeah, because we got we to finish uh, nothing. We got to finish getting that, uh, that stuff over. Let's go see if there's water on this. All right. Ah, these guys are almost out, so let's take team two out. 
for a little walkabout, if you will. Let's draft you. Board. Let's go find out what we got going on on this vessel. Maybe there's some water. We have ice. We just need it, you know, to get taken care of. Uh, so let's make that a high construction priority. Snowflake's here. Hi, Snowflake. All right, team two. Don't let us down. Trying to find out if there's any water around here. Oh, for heaven's sake. Yeah, go pick up that data log. I guess we got to pick up the data logs and the credits. We don't really need $40, but, you know, we did it. We did it anyway. Not seeing any spiders moving a little too fast. Some storage. Continue drafted because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you guys all back on here. Thank you. Let's take a look. I do kind of want some of this stuff, though, so let's get those things. And then let's move on. Ugh. We leave battered husks behind us. A ship, a veritable ship graveyard grows. Uh, I think it only showed up in the live chat, not the top chat. What are you talking about? Wait, we, we, we hit a comment? Oh, that's a bummer. I didn't know we hit a comment. I apologize for your comment getting hidden. Uh, oh, Nighturnal's here. Hi, Nighturnal. Emma says, need to start recycling your bodies, I think, en masse. Yeah, totally, 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 totally. But that's... I don't know. I just... don't know if I want to, you know? Got all these bodies around. I just don't know if I want to. Are we even composting stuff? Yeah, we're still composting. The biomatter's getting us a bit of water. That's more than enough water for us to survive. 17 ice? Where did we get that other ice block from? Must have been from the ship. We're, we're finally finished. Uh, there we are. I think we move on now. Yeah. We've got a bit of scrap left, but I think it's time to move on. Now, what is our locate point of interest? Oh, yeah, the Pirate Coalition hideout. Oh, my goodness. Is that what we're getting up to today? Are we in the Pirate? We're headed there. The Minor Saint Passage. Now, it wants us to locate the uh, Pirate Base. I would like to dislocate it, if you will. Smash! I haven't seen you in a while. Exactly as fun. Cannot really compost them yet because I have plans for them. Plans within plans. All right. The order to jump the ship has been given. We're on backup power. It's a risky jump. We're not mass supported anymore. We have yet another engine. My goodness. Ah, crap. We have to jump again. Continue our jump. That sucks. Uh, let's drop. Ame now gets sickness. We're going to need... So the civilians... You're going to need to give up some water for, to make this worth it. They do have two auto turrets. Shields up. Turrets red alert. You know what, though? Oh, my goodness. They are heavily armed. Uh, or, or, sorry, heavily shielded. What is this? 576 shields that I have to get through. Uh, uh, turrets off. Shields on. Operations on. Teams one and two. Oh, this is bad. My main team is in really bad shape. I'm gonna save the game here. Should we save it as oops? <laughs> Another oops? Oh, remember to reset the milter. Thank you, 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 thank you. Let's go if less than uh, 50. And then we're going to go here. Custom Legends is my highest priority. There we are. All right, our shields are getting low. You guys need to... You really need to run to your... Do you know what I mean? All right, we need to spike those guns immediately. Oh my goodness, under heavy fire. Blink, 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 blink. You're just getting roasted. We know somebody's on their operations panel then, at least. I don't think there's any point in wasting my men uh, trying to run the panel. Okay, Paul is right there. 
Paul's not going to last. It doesn't look very defensible, this position. Oh, we're going to lose that shuttle if I'm not careful. That could be bad. Okay, I need you guys to focus your fire on when, not the explosive robots. Whoa, that was close. Crossfire. Bentley is is carefully covered. Let's move you guys out here. Deal with Paul. We're taking some damage from Bentley, so you guys need to move. Ah, don't shoot those! <laughs> you guys need to move up. Move up. Move there, please. Why are they firing? They're not listening to me. Follow or... Oh, for heaven's sake. These robots are the worst. That's actually good strategy on their part, though. All right. Have we stopped their guns from firing? Yes, I believe so. Bentley, what do you got? Neurotic, eh? Gwen, what do you got? A spacefarer? Okay, he can stay alive for a bit longer. Team 1, check the back. Team 2, back up a little bit. <laughs> Dolce. Exfil. Nice. All right, join up with A Company or whatever. Wait, did we lose somebody? Oh, Nihal's down, okay. Go get Nihal, Roxani. You guys carry forward, pop this door. Back out, pop this door. Nope, don't pop that door. All right, it seems like they've stopped sh uh, firing on our ship, so we can kind of slow down a little bit now. Nick gets himself into a bad spot, gets an open wound. Takes a pot shot at Matthew. Matthew's kind of out of position, so I can pull Matthew back. I think once we get a second here... That's bad. Black Widow's taking some bad hits. Actually, not too bad, but, like, yeah, she's in a good spot. We just need to make sure they have better armor. That's one thing I've noticed is that, like, we made some armor. Did they all get it? That's what I need to clear up. Oh, Nihal's decided he's okay. Roxanne, you come back. Nihal, let's draft you and put you on board that. Got to exfil the wounded, you know what I mean? That's a good point. That's why you put the charging docks next to the airlock and just order the bots back. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. You, yes, you have to rebuild them, but like that, that really uh, caused problems for us. Unfortunately for Nick, he's he's bleeding quite heavily. You know what? So is Gwen, to be honest. Um, we just we just don't have the uh, we just don't have the ability to take care of this many people. This might have to be a a no prisoners scenario. Oh, a hero though. Surrender minus forty, working speed minus twenty. Overall mood five. Never mind. We're gonna keep Nick if we can. I don't. I don't. I don't personally know if Nick is gonna survive. Is the question? Is the is the issue? Dolch, where are you? Okay, you're over there. We should probably get those guys back. Vampy's also not doing amazing. Is she's bleeding? One weapon and one... Z oh, you're right. I didn't even look at their skills. I just saw a hero, so I got excited. Shoot. Oh, nice shot on Kyoko there. Good lord, that was a good shot. Nice critical. Kyoko, you just don't have it. Well, you put up a good last fight there. That was brave of you. All right. Uh, Vampy, let's pull you back here. And somebody should go with you. Emery, the two of you head back to the medical ship. Oh, careful, you guys. There is actually still somebody out there. No, there's not. Whew, that was a spicy one. See, they have body storage. 
<laughs> we're going to have body storage. I just, I need you all to bear with me. We're going to have body storage. Does the icon mean you can use the med bed on enemy ships? Uh, I, Istvan answered you, Sulaco. Yes, but no treatment. Yeah, I think you can rest. You do. You probably get a baseline mood buff for, uh, or uh, health like recovery buff, though. I would assume. Ayumi walks up to Nick, and Nick turns around and says, "Please, I, I, I'm a civilian. You, you, you got it. Just take us into custody. You can, you can get rid of us. You can have everything on the ship. That's fine. You can have the whole ship. Just, just let me go." And Ayumi is like, "You're a civilian." He's like, "Yeah, I'm a civilian." And Ayumi's like. What kind of civilian? He's like, well, I, I don't understand the question. I. Brutal. War is a brutal thing. Also, that is true. Just a civilian, you made us drop out. That is true. They did try to make us drop out. So they did think that they were up to the task. All right, wait, hang on. You need to draft and go here, I think. That's closest to the medical facility. Everybody else is undrafted. Let's take a look at our hall. Hopefully there's some water. Six. And no ice. This isn't a bad hall, though. Uh, some tech blocks would have been nice, but other than that, I will take this hall. And then I'm going to go in for expedite. In the meantime... Dolce. I need you to go there. Rampy, you go to that one. Emery, you are going to pick this person. Nope, nope. Pick that person up. We may lose Nihal. Nope, Nihal's like, I'm fine. I'm good to drive. All right, so Nihal, you go deal with yourself. Emery, you come to the hospital too. I forget which beds are being used right now. That one there. All right, let's get to some, ah, perfect. Ame comes in and does some doctoring. Uh, hopefully we don't lose Vampy right now. I think we should be good. Oh, <laughs> Nihal. No. Oh, Nihal was on team one, I think. Oh, that sucks. All right. Okay. Let's look at who our options are. We need a good fighter to recruit. Psychopath. Uh, good so far. So she's going to get to be a minus 12. Accuracy 55. Weapons me. I don't want to put this much effort into yeah convincing that person to join our crew. What about Zlagathor over here? Zlagathor is confident, but sort of sucks. Some of these people will make very good... Uh, f uh, uh, patrons, but not not actual crew members. Here we go. Here we go. This is interesting. Okay, their accuracy will go up. They're a, pr a talkative prize fighter with a lot of zest and pretty maxed out weaponry. I think Deborah Larson is going to prove herself to us. She will go to a minus 10 for surrender as well. And then we can fix that accuracy too with some other stuff. So we're going to start recruiting uh, Deborah. And just to think ahead here, like, who else do we have that could be recruitable? Weapons, one. Rosemary weapons, four. So Max is out at five. Is not going to have great uh, defense there. Uh, man, is that my only option? Okeet? No, uh, Okeet, you kind of suck. Slagathor needs to survive simply because of the name. <laughs> uh, Emma says, froze again. I think it's because I have steam up for Space Haven. You should be able to do both, should you not? Four. What about Flo? Flo Rida here. Can't do a lot of stuff. However, weapons, maxed out weapons, huge accuracy. Is going to go to a zero for... But I feel like we can do something about that. However, low zest, potentially. 
Really good fi uh, sh d uh, crew person, though. I think I'm going to recruit Flo, because Flo could become useful and can run the bridge fairly well, and we kind of are a bit low on that. What about Eric here? Eric Hudson. 4, accuracy 49, minus 17. Nothing to write home about. So we don't have too many good fighters on the team. Gimli is sort of a meh. I wonder if you can... Can you recruit... No, it doesn't look like you can recruit patrons. Oh, you know what? When we cleared out the prison, we should have used this building. Anyway. Zlagathor, professional accountant. He will dominate your taxes. <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's a bummer that we lost Nihal, but I think that's just the way of things in this uh, spicy, spicy world. I will not be using my save scum on that, because I thought personally that it was a pretty good fight. Okay, now, let's start thinking about our uh, situation here. Like, what do we want our, our this to look like? Navigation. And operations, I think. Yeah, like, what do we want to do with this room? What's an interesting-looking command area? So we could get some double windows here and then bring the wall out. But then that's quite wide. But it looks cool. Yeah, like, is it is it a large... Command needs plants and a large table. I don't really disagree with that. I don't disagree with that. Not even one bit. I'm going to go like this. Here. Is this symmetrical? Oh, it's not symmetrical. It can't really... It's not super symmetrical just, be, just by nature of, of the situation here. Uh, so wait, hang on though. All right, hang on. Let's make sure this is at least somewhat mis symmetrical. Misetrical is what I almost said. So this is one, two, three, four. This should be four. Then it goes down one. And over three. Down one, over three. Or is that four? Three. Three. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what's... Uh, Okay, well, let's cancel. Well, okay, this is what I'm saying. Why do I see... What have I done wrong here that's stupid? Why do I see two? Oh, I... Okay, I'm just being silly. It doesn't need to be symmetrical, but I was just like, it threw me off. So I want to build this so that I know how big I want my uh, uh, bridge to be. So we're going to do something like this. Let's build this out, actually. Build that piece out. Activate sketch. Just a straight line for now. Yeah, build that out. Okay. That's not going to cost too much. Maybe even an ops crew bedroom and leisure area. Oh, very cool. Emma said, add a toilet near the ops area for them to use, and an O2 scrubber and a spacesuit, etc., and then add an airlock so it's sealed from the rest of the ship if needed. An airlock? I do wish that there was some way to keep that... Like, if your ship is getting pounded and it blows up, I wish there was a way to add redundancy so that your command section could stay active if you're smart about it. That could be kind of interesting. Uh, and Greg says, when that's needed, let's be honest. Ah! Beans! You're so smiley. You're in a good mood. How is... Uh, oh, no? <laughs> He's okay. Oh, big stretch. Oh, no. Oh, okay. I have... No. Okay, okay. I, uh, what time are we? I'll have to go and support soon. Uh, it doesn't need to be symmetrical, but if it's not, I'm going to have a hissy fit. I understand, Fiasco. I understand. And you know what? Honestly, that's fine. Okay, so, command area. Maybe the command area is a bit big. Let's be honest. Maybe the command area is a bit big.
Oh, okay. Um, we need to think about this. Zero water, 15 ice. This area is pretty tight. Maybe that's going to cause a problem. I don't know if it does, though. They walk over each other all the time. So we should be okay. But the fact that it's not getting done is kind of an issue to me. How many? Okay, I have one collar. How many energy cells? I have 22 energy cells. I think I know what this means. We need to process another person who can do some uh, industry. A high level of industry. Like light gravel. Whoa, it's trying to be converted already. Okeet. Industry 5. What about Zlagathor? What's this, like, Zlagathor everyone's so excited about? Let's see Zlagathor's deal. Industry, nothing. Okay, well. Okeet might be good. Got an accent. He's got an accent. Okeet. His name is Okeet. Everyone's like, Okeet? Like, Keith? And they're like, no, it's Okeet. Bam, bam, ba down. Super chat. A super chat. The bigger, the better. That's what Captain Annie said. It's true. The bigger, the better. Captain Annie likes it big. <laughs> Industry 3. Roxanne is already a person. Oh, that's why. So one of our... Uh, why did we make Roxanne... Roxanne can't do anything. Oh, medical and research. That was good. Okay. Anyway, I was starting to get mad at myself for my choice. Philip. I think our best one might be light gravel. Like gravel it is. You don't seem super useful, except for medical. You're a psychopath medical person. Alfred might need to be challenged. All right. Let's turn light gravel into our person. Emery, I need you to go talk to Alfred. There we are. Come over here. Cole is here. A lot better than TTS with the dumb French one. <laughs> okay, you prefer the super chat being read out by that? <laughs> Thank you, Isbon, for the hops. And the soups, of course. Uh, set prisoner area. There we are. That's just going to help Alfred stay there. Come on in, Alfred. This is just to process you. You're going to... You're just getting you're get a medical checkup. Come on in now, Alfred. Okay, so I'm learning we need to make this a little, a little bigger. Stop following me. Whoops. Okay, go inside. There we go. Yeah, we might need to make that a little bigger. All right. And we're off. What temperature are we in there? Oof. 80 degrees. Don't worry, Alfred. It's just to make sure that you're not infected. It's a it's a normal thing we're doing right now. Any fires yet? Yeah, probably. Remove the chair, then you can step in. Yeah, we can, We also don't need both of these. We could just have one in here, but it looks kind of uh, foreboding. Also, it's gonna <laughs> we're gonna wreck the chair anyway. But there's something about the chair that I like, unfortunately. Okay, now, window-wise, we could probably do one, two. Ah, that's no good. Okay, let's get rid of that one and put a three by right in there. Perfect. Yeah, that'll look cool. All right. So that's good. So, like, oh, won't he suffocate? Is the door vents not open? Alfred? Oh, yeah. You might be right. You might be right. <laughs> I told you this was the evil run. Don't be sitting around being like, wait a minute. Is this evil? Wait a minute. This guy's being evil. Okay, I need to, that to get expanded by my builder bots. But logistics are not working because, let's see here, 225, 125, 249. Yeah, we're starting to get pretty full. Not fully full just yet, though. Not completely full. We have time. Mm, unfortunately, Alfred did not make it. Turn 
turn those off. It got too hot in that room. Crazy. 50 degrees. Will that temperature normalize? Alfred has been dealt with. What is your water situation? Let's take a look. So we have 13 ice and zero water. Uh, food is somewhat stable and perfectly nominal in our the crew area. Again, we have unreachable, unreachable maintenance task. Oh, this thing needs to be maintained, and we can't even move it. It's stuck there. That's one of the issues with those thermals, which reminded me I wanted a thermal O2 thing here, didn't I? Or not an O2 thing, sorry, a thermal generator. A thermal regulator. Right there. I think that's serviceable and accessible. It's just that one in the in the research area is not. Nothing I can do about it. I could stop it for now. Because that's going to cause logistics problems. And we have more than our share of those. Airlock blocked. There's not that much stuff there. Do I still have bots doing their job? Yeah, they're still being charged. How many energy cells do I have left? 21. So we're doing good. Now we have... We should have... Oh, yeah. There's light gravel doing some industry work. So that's good. I really feel like you should be doing this. Oh, the output tile is full. Okay, that's fine. Oh, wait. We don't need that on continuous. I mean, how many fabrics do we need, really? A hundred fabrics! Okay, turn that off for now. <laughs> Why do we have a hundred fabrics? Uh, armored vest need... We have a lot of resources to build armored vests. So we could build three more of these. Let's take a look at team one. Inventory. Oh, beautiful. That's good to see. All right, let's get you guys armored up. Now, can anybody run a laser rifle yet? No. You're not able to. Okay. Oh, you can. Yes, Roxani gets a laser rifle. Oh, we love Roxani. Uh-oh, craft drafted for a long time. Whoops. Well, that'll help speed things up. <laughs> Sorry, folks. You need fabric for the window curtains. Yeah, that's true. And the non-existent rugs, of course. I'm sure that chair will catch fire soon. Evil laugh. <laughs> yeah, came it. Cola slash ice fox. It's true. I, you know, I got to figure out my fire situation. I think I just play things cl close to the teeth. I'm not feeding them right. You know, it's a whole thing. All right, so what about this? What about something like, uh, like a wall window or so? Uh, or hang on, or two three Bs. Wall down the middle. Maybe a w uh, window there. Could be kind of funky looking. Move this here. How expensive are these? I forget. Let's just grab and move these then. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if that's more logistics or not, though. Because now they have to go and dismantle and blah, blah, blah. But whatever. We've got bots. And we've got another... We have now another uh, 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 voluntold. And I think we have enough energy cells being produced. So let's maybe get... Let's start getting a benefit for all these mouths that we're feeding. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is this is ridiculous at this point. I don't know, armored vests. Oh, that's why we need uh, collars as well. Let's make five of these. Let's go over to our chemical plant here and set up some things. So, chemicals. We want, if less than 20... Plastic. Let's go if less than 20. IV fluid. Uh, if less than like 30. Medical supplies. Oh, that's also why we need it. Okay, good, good, good. If less than like uh, 15. 
All right, so that is all going to work together and create a little bit of a feedback loop. Now, for fertilizer, we have nine. Let's not worry about fertilizer at the moment. Kid Caliber's here. Next, build some cubicles for your crew so they can get extra depressed. A truly evil run. Okay, I kind of like that idea. Kid Caliber's off. Work for a while awaiting surgery. Okay, that's well, that's why I've been playing so much Manor Lord, Kid Caliber. I've been making videos for you to help distract you while you're working on your 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 situation, your your surge. And I hope you I hope you feel better. I hope you heal fast. Here's what I hope for you, Kid Caliber. I hope you heal so fast that it's a bit weird. I hope you heal so fast that the doctors are like, we kind of need to study you. You healed so fast. I hope you heal so fast you end up in a CIA off-grid facility being studied. Okay? That's how fast I want you to heal. All right. Now, I like the idea of a meeting room, and I like the idea... Yeah, I want you to have Logan healing, Greg. I like the idea of a meeting room. I like a lot of the ideas being said... Uh, here. So we're going to go like this. going to bring this wall out here a little bit. Dude, this area is going to be awesome. We're going to move. We're going to... Okay, hang on. We'll get you dealt, dealt with in a second here. And then, then we're going to go... I wish we could make this symmetrical somehow. I like this long window. That sounded like a threat covered in kindness, like saying, I hope you're successfully evacuating from your burning home. <laughs> and you know what? Let's leave it at that. Maybe that is, maybe it was a bit of a mixed sort of a, rea a thing, you know? All right, so then in here, we need to go uh, furniture. And we're going to go board table here. So it needs to be two away, though, unfortunately. I think we can go. There, with that. What else could we do with a three by window or something like here, maybe? I don't know. Some of you can probably hear beads. Something like this, maybe. And <laughs> Gaming with Koala says, it's kind of like if you say, have a nice day, which is fine, but if you say, have a nice 24 hours, it sounds threatening. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to threaten people back to life. What? <laughs> yeah. Mrs. Olive was saying, sometimes if you, you know, panics, doesn't know what to say. It says, have a good life to somebody. <laughs> I love that. I say that a lot. I, I, I like saying that when it's like, when, when you've met it. Oop, what happened to light there just now? Got a hit. Received an electric shot. Oh, you tried to take your collar off, light. Oh, hello. Uh, no thanks, light. So what time do you need to end the stream? Probably in about half an hour. So I think we'll find the we'll find the I mean I really want to get this up and running is what I'll say. The only problem with this is there's not a lot of command and control areas. It has to be probably disseminated from the, the from this area. But I think this looks much more interesting, I will say, than uh, what we had before. And what we've done in other ones. What if we do, like, a light here? I don't know. Is that a thing? Yeah, let's put a light there. And then we could even do the same here or something. I want to put something there. Like, a decorative plant doesn't make sense, but it's going to be off... We're off-center a little bit, but that's fine. A spacesuit locker will be needed. Gaming with Cola says, Just in time for my stream, cough, cough. Yeah, okay, go watch Gaming with Cola after this, though. After this. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs> okay, let's get a wall built in here. So it's like there it comes in, maybe. 
or there. Just to give us a little more shape. Oh, finally. Okay, new research. Let's get the X2 being uh, uh, researched, please. Salvage robot would be good as well, but right now I just kind of want to get my power sorted out. Let's move you over to here for now. Yeah, we're going to need a spacesuit locker in here, but I, again, I don't want to fill this area with too much, like, crud. Although what we could do is a an asymmetrical design, which sometimes generates a lot of ups, uh, anger in the uh, community. But we could do something like like so. We could come out here. I don't know if we can get a door in there. This is a waste. This is not necessary. But what if we do something like this instead then? Or a three by. I'm going to build that and we'll just see how it, how it, what it looks like. That's not bad. That's not bad. And then you've got a wall there and a window. This is good. And then we can have decorations. We can have some decorative screens all along there. Maybe even one there. We'll see. Okay, there's our initial build. This is our initial sort of uh, thing here. Yeah, and then I want to make a common area with a bathroom and then a sleeping area here. That's going to be sweet. Dude, this looks sweet. We did some good combat. And we've designed this, which I think we're really going to like personally. Craig Wenzel, angry with the community. Who's angry? Why is everyone saying I'm angry? Because I build asymmetrically. That's why. But I'm brave like that. That's why I build asymmetrically, because of how brave I am. We might need to get some wind, some lights in here. Do we want to try? Dare we try the old... Where do we do this? Something like this, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, let's just do that row for now. I'm seeing some O2 problems. Okay, no. So, yeah, if we do this, then what we need here, bring this wall across, wall this off, then we need to add in, like, a utility closet as well, I think. As you said, so that it can provide its own oxygen. There we are. Wall lights are fine. I wonder what a little floor light right here. Or is that asymmetrical and annoying? Let's find out. Got to build it first. Dude, this command center is sweet. Symmetry is cowardice. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Then, yeah, then we are doing the right thing. Symmetry is indeed cowardice. All right, this ship is coming together in a way that I'm really starting to like it. I, unfortunately, I know what everyone's saying. It's like, oh, you know, this ship looks like whatever. Oh, Flo has been recruited already? Flo, hello. Minus two because of Stockholm Syndrome. Uh, oh, yeah, were you our other one that we didn't... What was the other one I was trying to recruit, recruit that's awesome? Deborah is going to be stronger. Flo is going to give up a lot, but pretty good weapon skills. So, Flo, we're going to add you to Team 1 for the time being. But we could also turn you into a uh, sh uh, crew, like a what's-it crew. You know what would be great? That's going to be the fun thing about this ship. We can get a ship so large that we could have a hot bunk team that's assigned only to bridge crew behaviors, and then everybody else we could turn off of bridge crew. So we could have... To do this properly, we need, let's say, at least three that are bridge crew only. And that's the only thing they ever work on is the bridge crew. 
and then we need six total so that we can they, they, that there's always a bridge crew able to hop on. Yeah, that's good. Game with Cola says, uh, Space Office is getting the bills for this ship and going, wait, why are there so many windows? Uh, so people can see out. Oh, uh, yes, right. And wait, why is there... An, I can't read the handwriting. <laughs> a death room? A de what is this death room? <laughs> That's funny. Constantin, Constantin is here. Albu, how are you, my dude? Haven't seen you in a while. All right, so what do we have? Ah, we have some temperature issues here. Okay, well, that's, you know, obviously dealable withable. So we're going to get some thermos in here. We're going to put one there and there. And then we're going to put one here and here. And perhaps we put one here. There. That should be enough thermals. Oh yeah, fair enough. It's it's pretty cold in here. It's pretty cold. Let's be honest. Oh, are we out of infra blocks? No, nope, we have lots. Bring us infra blocks. Continue warming up the place too. Yes, this place is looking awesome. Hot bunk team, spicy. <laughs> yeah, basically, I need a hot bunk team. Which means we could just make four... We need four bedrooms, that's it. How's the ice blocks water level? We've got eight water, and we have six ice blocks. We have 12 water basically left. Three more collars. So maybe we get... How am I doing for our energy cells here? Uh, that, 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 that. This is the only problem with... It, uh, 22. This is the only problem with having so many enemies, is it's going to be kind of hard to get them to get, you know, stuff. Weapons 3, actually 47 minus 10, medical assistant. I think we're going to turn Philip Taylor into a uh, an assistant here. Leckett is a captain. A pirate captain. Weapons 1. Hard working, industry, construction and mining. Your only Leckett your only use is as a as oop no uh, as a uh, as a voluntold. Okay, what about Peshk? A civilian I, a captain, I, I presume. A civilian captain, yes. Industry three, mining six, hardworking weapons two. You're kind of useless to me. Fallen says, yeah, but as the game grinds on, water is always the issue. Once you try to crank out healthy food, yeah, I don't think I don't see myself doing uh, healthy food. Emma reminds me it's actually five water per ice block. Oh, that's even better. I love that they changed that. Probably because of the food growth situation. I do have another growth chamber here, grow chamber that I haven't activated. Uh, and then, yeah, this all needs to become housing. So, to do that end, we need to... Oh, we already built... Ah, crap. I didn't need that. We had some chairs over here. Let's move these out for now. All right, let's move this shield over to here. And let's keep that there, I guess, for now. I think we need to move these too, don't we? How much are the lights to build? 50? Okay, but but like I've been told, this also takes up the you know, tools, take up infra blocks. So we're going to move them, which is annoying, but we're going to put them back eventually. And I hear you, yes, it's way better to have robots instead of patrons, but I'm trying to go for, like, this massive city ship with so many people. I'm trying to challenge myself in, in terms of resources and water and such. No one wants to live off green sludge. I agree. I agree, Fallen, but they just may have to. They just may have to. It's the only way, says Roxanne, to keep to, to, to bring the most people to keep the most people alive and bring the most of us into our glorious future. <laughs> Abandon the ship. Must be in hangar. Okay. Game with Cola. Are you gonna get Frostpunk 2? It looks good, hey? I think were you playing it? I thought I, I saw it on your channel, Ice Fox. I have, the thing is, we've got Manor Lords. I have Of Life and Land that I need to keep going, and Stranded Alien Dawn. And then, 
I think we're pretty close to falling frontier, uh, which is at this point, that's it for me. That's like, that's a nuts amount of, of, of things. So I'm concerned uh, that I might, I, I don't, I really want to play it aside from how stressful it looks. I, but that being said, I may not be able to. Oh, you're playing Frostpunk 1. Oh, okay. Yeah, Frostpunk 2 does look good, though. Um, one thing that I find interesting, I don't know if anybody's playing it, is it weird that it's like... Uh, there's like this thing where you, uh, you can't slow it down or slow time down, so there's always like... Instead of seeing your colonists walking around like what we see right now, you've got uh, like flashes of light as people are moving, so it's almost like even the slowest you go you're still seeing time move extraordinarily fast. Uh, not that I have an issue with that. I don't have any major... Nothing wrong with that. That being said, it's just it's kind of interesting to me um, that they went with that as opposed to an approximation of, of humans or something, if that makes sense. Uh, uh, sorry, not an approximation of humans. An approximation of what their what their day-to-day -day is like. So that rather than have them actually transporting goods back and forth, they are just... Uh, it's similar to uh, Anno 1800. You know, the it's more an animation of people walking around living in the colony rather than physically producing the goods, um, which is a type of, you know, colony simulator. And I like that, that it looks lived in more than it looks like a blur. Um, so that's, I, I don't know. But again, other than that, like, the game looks pretty cool. I've seen some comments that people feel like it's quite different. Which I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. Can we get this on like a high priority? Thank you. Greg Wenzel says, I've been called an approximation of a human. <laughs> nice. We love that for you. Okay, now when this, this shuttle comes back. Is it coming back? I can uh, abandon it. There we are. Uh, abandon, go. Get that in there. It's almost like we built it on purpose. This size. And we've got our spacesuit locker in here. And we could probably get a locker. An actual locker locker. Here, let's grab... I know there's a locker down here that doesn't make any sense. Grab this locker and put it right here. There we are. <laughs> this ship is coming together. I am really starting to like this ship. Oh my goodness. I don't know why you didn't get a shout out. Gaming with Gola, welcome to solid support. You are too kind. I don't like seeing my name in gray. <laughs> Long. Gaming with Cola and the support. Uh, you're just, you're one of the good ones. We love you. Um, eh. Also, Gaming with Cola has somewhere on Discord maybe told me that he's, he's coming for me. He's coming for my sub count. And what I say to Gaming with Cola is game on. Game on. What do you think of that? That's pretty good with this mic. This mic gets nice and bassy for me. There we go. Let's get those lights down there. So they're not going to waste. Use every part of the buffalo. That might make it too bright in here. I almost kind of like it being this dark. It's kind of cool. It's moody. Uh, so we might get rid of the lights. We'll see. We'll see. We'll put the lights in. We'll see. Now, the next thing I need to do is move this crap out of here so we can get some housing going on down here. But I do think... I mean, look at that. Uh, we're loving this. Says I. I'm going to get a wall light here. I do want to kind of maintain a mood, though. I mean, what kind of wall... What kind of things look, you know, kind of good... Uh, no, well, like, I think that's going to be the rest of the ship, isn't it? No, this isn't too bad. It's a little... 
too bright. That's interesting. It's a little too the white isn't ideal. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a mix it's a toss up between this gray or this one. I wonder if we could like what could we do with this to make it look if I keep clicking on I mean that's not bad, right? Where it's like there's a couple of panels on the sides, but the rest is just gray. And then whatever floor complements that. Maybe a dark floor. That's sort of a carpet. I want a dark carpet in here. What is that? Uh, like nailed in panels. It's kind of cool. That's st it's starting to look like the cross section of a real ship. I like it. Game with Cole says my 153 subs versus your 12k. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting there. Well, hey, that's I mean it's the same. It's the same grind. We're all on that same grind. One audience member at a time. Are you on about the lights in your ship or your house? Ugh, I know. The, dude, I got to get rid of the green screen. It's just, it's not working. I can't get it far enough back anyway. I We should just, I should just get, uh, I mean, uh, Melissa said she was going to sew some, uh, uh, cr sh not charcuterie. What's the term? Embroider something. <laughs> and then I've got that thing Ice Fox sent to us, to me, my award for being great that he created with all of your help. I could put that on the wall. Then I could get some like audio, bl it would look cool. Maybe some LED strips. Should just do that. Every bit of solid support gets him closer to a real green screen. <laughs> yeah, or or just, you know, stuff on the walls. Grampy says ham on the walls. I don't understand that, but uh, yeah, ham. You know, why not ham on the walls? Okay, uh, let's... Uh, 11.44. Okay, so we have a little bit of time left here. Hi. <laughs> you are now in a good mood for somebody who was not in a good mood earlier today. A little bit of insight. We had a... Uh, apparently, we had a car nap. Now, parents will know how just how bad that is. <laughs> You're screwed. If you get a car nap. Okay. So, let's take a look. What are my options here for my shape of this ship? We kind of want the wall to be here. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to activate this much of the sketch. And similar over here, that's that's basically three hull blocks. They're already building it. And the reason for that is, I believe, I want to put a wall right there, I think, maybe? No, here. That's where I want to put the wall. Right in that hutch. And that's just going to help me be finished with the design even as I expand things. Same thing over here. Uh, da, 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 da. So I want it to follow up along to there. Wait, are you going to build that or not? I haven't got around to it. Okay, we'll let them build for a bit. We'll let them cook. See, now this looks really brightly lit. I'm just going to delete these. Sorry, guys. It's like, yes, I try to recycle, but it's just like, ugh. Trying to create a mood here. Trying to create a vibe. Delete those. Get rid of those. Yep. I guess we should have moved them back here. We should put some back here or something. Let's keep those two, and let's move this one back somewhere else there because you kind of want to see your spacesuit locker and then we could have some lighting in here but we'll we'll think about that game with cola says when you get your first youtube badge tins of beans on the wall ham on the walls <laughs> emma says 100k subs i think you're right i think you get like a little like a a metal one or something or no do you get like a little certificate i can't remember how it goes but you get like something like a plaque or whatever so now, see, this is interesting because this is kind of informing the shape of the rest of the ship, which I do like to see. Um, we're starting to see how the hallways, you know, based on what I've already built, how they need to interact. Uh, so that's probably here. And same thing here. So, is this enough for a lavatory as well? As a utility closet and housing? I don't know. This doesn't feel 
all that good for that. Is there a way to... Get at least one in there, maybe? I'd like... Because I'd like to give them good housing. Rob the Hobbit. Hi, I, hi, gang. I just got home from looting the grocery store. Just like Fallout 4, I had too much to carry, and it took me forever to get home. <laughs> you are encumbered. Do you ever think that? I always do that. When you go to Costco or something, and you're like... My goodness, I'm encumbered right now. And that's what you were. You were encumbered. Okay, so this could be over here. We could call this a uh, lavatory. And over here, we could call this a bunk. But we want to be careful because now we've kind of painted ourselves into a bit of a corner here. Unless we go... Oh, let's just get us like this. A bed here. And a thing there. Can we move it over one? So door there. Bed and a thing. Window here, so that's good. Uh, we almost want to move this wall up here, though. So let's move this door over. So this is just bunks, basically. And then we can actually move this one over and have just like a bit more luxury on this thing. Now, the real question is, though, that's one, two, three. So we can hot bunk six people. Where's your door? Never mind, I see it. Yeah. Now, here's the thing about hot bunking six people, though. Oh, no, wait, I know what we do. We put in three bunk beds and we hot bunk six people. That's how we get to control the number of people that go in the rooms. Or that, like, who go, control who's nearby the 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 um, the bridge at all times. But then uh, we can assign them to the room as well, and we also get the slept alone. Like, we still get the undisturbed whatever sleep thing. And another thing we can do is with this longer room, we could do two bunks, and we can get ourselves a fourth. We could do all eight. One, two, three. Yeah, that kind of works. It does leave this area really open, though, doesn't it? Hang on, let's think about this. I think we're designing this all wrong. I think there's a different way. There's a better way. I may have just seen it. We probably want a two-wide hallway just so it is... Uh, there we go. Let's see if I can do this. It needs to be a one-wide hallway, actually. There's always a better way. I agree. You don't need to move, so we're going to cancel you. Pow. Okay, now what do we have? We've got two, one, two, three bunks. We move this over. We got four bunks. Bingo, bango, bongo, Roberto Luongo. There we are. Wall. I'm going to wait for some of these walls to get built first. Just because we're kind of weirdly building up into a little pinchy corner. So that's why we're having to be careful. Now this, I think we can get a window in. Wall window right here. Hull window, I mean. And so that's going to be nice. And then we move this. Hang on. We do this. There we go. We move the door there. And then wingo, wango, wongo. Out like that. I think that's my best option. It gets me one tiny... Remember the short. Oh, yeah, I've got to post the short. i got to post the short. Sorry. Two wide hallways are as bad are bad as you can put floor lights in symmetrically. Three wide allows solar panels. Yeah, true. I feel like there's a better... Uh, potentially a better design in here. I'm not 100% sure. I think this is the best design. Yes, we could just take more ground and have it be bigger, but this is already like a fairly extensive command center, to be honest with you. So, if we move this door over...
we can get a single bunk pod in here. So does that matter is the question, or should we just have some like some chairs or something? Oh no, we need to do sorry, one second, let's move that. Over. Over. Here we are. Uh thinking, thinking, thinking. This looks a little less complicated at least, so that's nice. A one wide corridor with no double door. Yeah, that looks right. Um, oh, into a double door. <laughs> yeah, I know. It is what it is. I can get rid of it. We could do one door here. We could do windows, whatever we want at this point. But it just kind of, I don't know. It looks cool. Emma doesn't like it, though. And, then, and you know what? We're okay with Emma not liking it. Uh, we respect Emma on this channel. Okay. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. So, we could make a sleeping pod here and get a fourth person. What I've currently done does not allow hot bunking a fourth person. My old setup, my old layout did, but led to uh, just some weird shapes. Eight minutes left, so thank you very much, Vampy. If we bring the wall back by one, we get everything we want, but I just don't think it's worth it. Because then the wall is going to come out. It's not going to line up with that so that we can't use it for other stuff. And it's just going to be all clunky. Whereas this version, not so clunky. Plus we have a window in here. So this could just be like we could put a couch here or something. Oh, also I can't move the door there anyway. The other thing I could do, respect my authority, <laughs> declares Emma. So the other thing I could do is we could go wall across here. So yeah, that's a bit annoying, but what we could do is create a wall here. Because you're not going to be able to get through that. I don't. Th oh no, you can actually. But then you've got all the, like, it, it, it's, it just doesn't, that actually doesn't work anyway. Because I'd need... To wall this here to there. So I move this door over. Then we get a wall here, here, here. And then you just have to walk through a bunk to get to the other bunk. What do we think about that? Okay, here's the other option, though. The other option is we look at this build and do something with it. Move these chairs out of the way for now. Move these chairs out of the way because I got a, pling, a thing to build. Diddly do to do. Yeah, let's get a wall right there, please, for me. Thank you. Hurry up, guys. I got some stuff to do. All right, on backup power again. Of course, of course. There we are. Now let's move you here. Emma says she's going to buy beans, one of those shape boxes where you fit various shapes through the holes. Sorry, I meant for solid, not beans. Hey, you, would you, uh, this still, this is working. What, what are you on about? This is working. <laughs> I just have to figure out a nice spot for the turlet. Because now this is dumb, unless I put a spacesuit locker in there, but we already have one, blah, blah, blah. O or I go back to the style... So, uh, we wanted a utility closet, though, didn't we? What we really want is a utility closet. So, let's go... Okay, wait, hang on. This. And this. And then... Yes, I know, I should have just moved this instead. Well, whatever, it's too late. It got dealt with. This comes out to here. <laughs> it's not going to work. I was going to put a gas scrubber in here. It was going to be a whole thing. We could still do a gas scrubber, though. Or do we do... Hang on. Do we do... Okay, move this there. Delete that. Okay. Ready? 
Then we go toilet. I don't think I'm going to get everything that I want. Because the oxygen generator is just too big. God, would that I could get a gas scrubber in there too. Oh, please, let me get a gas scrubber. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish you could Tetris these a little bit better, but you can't, so you won't. But we'll put a thermal in there. And then we're gonna get a door. All right, let's get some doors on this thing too. Get a couple of doors on that there. Door on that there, please. Some walls. I heard the cutest little hiccup from Beans just now. I think Beans is like cry laughing and enjoying the hiccups. Oh dear. Yeah. Am I what? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I better go. All right. I have a meeting to go to. We thank Mrs. Solid, of course, for reminding me. Oh, wait, let's get that wall in there. Uh, did I move this episode? No, I did, I did. There we are. Look what we did this episode! Now we can just get some food, some leisure stuff in there, and we have a dedicated bridge crew bunk. Change the ship name to the Crystal Maze of Death. Never! I'm changing this ship name to one of the greatest ships I have designed. Oh, Lance just got here. I'm so sorry, Lance. I do need to run now. Uh, I do need to run. Um, so I'm going to take off. But, I mean, this is kind of what we accomplished today, aside from taking down a bunch of ships. While we're here, you might as well mine this. We have sat here for so long, though. We have seven water left. And we have no ice. So, folks, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it to be very solid. We need water immediately in the next episode but from this command center we shall be running this ship now i mean look at this thing then we're gonna get this like temple over here and then we're basically going to destroy the entire galaxy so i'm just saying uh this ship is looking awesome and i'm loving it and i hope you are all enjoying yourselves as well and cola is about to start anyway so we gotta go there there have been deaths there have been deaths and there have been deathings, like killings. I want to redecorate this area, obviously, get some housing in here. Really just just bring this thing together. But this is this is good. This feels good, my folks. Let's get some thermals in there. So remember, in the next episode, water immediately. Some, somebody remind me. Then, let's get a thermal in here and see if that's enough for now. Water immediately, and then I want uh, to find the pirate base and to continue to build this most excellent of ships that I'm now fully in love with. I mean, look at the prison block alone. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll see you in the next episode of whatever it is that I play. Most likely, Manor Lords. <laughs> Bye. Bam, bam, ba, down. Chat. End of stream. Plant to all. Water. Immediately. Water hose.